I did not pay attention while I was, I unhooped it because I did run out of bobbin and usually I backstitch some just to cover what didn't stitch because I ran out of bobbin, but I did not pay attention this time and it did not stitch part of the mouth of the horse. So this is what I'm going to do to fix that. I already unhooped it and I already put the tender touch. When I went to press it, I noticed that I fucked up. So what I'm going to do is put it back in the hoop. I'm going to hoop it again. And this is what I'm going to do to fix that. It's happened to me before and this is what it did and it worked. So I'm going to go back to the design. And what I'm going to do is where's the mouth? That's the cow's mouth. I need the horse's mouth. There it is. So I'm going to right click copy. I'm going to select the new page. Here it is. And then I'm going to paste it right here. There's the mouth. I'm going to center it. Okay. And then I'm going to print it out. Okay. So we're going to print it. I'm going to put one copy because if I do two, it prints out the color sheet, which I don't need. So I'm going to print that out. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as mouth, I guess. Oh, yes. Hold on, let me double save it again. Sometimes my computer does not save. I don't know why. Oops. Okay. So then... I'm going to go to my panel, select the mouth, there it is, save it to the computer, yes, go computer's memory, find it, I had already saved it once, but I wanted to show you, so, and then, okay, and then there it is, okay, so how are we going to get it to stitch precisely where we, where I, not we, <laughs> where I messed up? Um, that's why we printed my sheet fell. Okay, that's why we printed it. So you see that little X um, cross in the middle of the mouth? That's the center. So that's where we have to place that on the on our shirt, and hopefully we get it on the right spot, and we get to fix our my mistake. Okay, I've done this before um, where I mess up like that. So I'm gonna go to my needle one. I'm gonna cut out my piece that I need, that I messed up on. So I want that needle one, this one. To be over here where the mouth is at. And I think I got it pretty good on the X. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna pick my color.
it fixed the mouth. <laughs> it's probably a tiny bit off centered, but it fixed it. There it is. It fixed the mouth. Um, so now I can press this and package this up. Hopefully this helped you. If this ever happens to you, I do not want to make the whole shirt all over again. Um, so try it out. If this ever happens to you, it saved my butt a lot of times. Um, and yeah. Okay, so here's the shirt. I pressed it. It worked. Um, I just got to cut those um, jump threads but yeah that's how that has saved me several times if i didn't know how to do that i would have had to redo the shirt all over again which that sucks <laughs> hey guys i'm finishing up a tutu tutu i haven't had many orders and honestly i am so happy for that i've uh my shop is open and uh, the plan was that I was going to take off December, all of December, because I didn't want to deal with the stress of, I told you guys in the other video, I didn't want to deal with the stress of the mail and customers constantly, um, you know, just being upset and a lot of people just don't understand that it's not in our hands. Even though we ship early, we ship with time, you know, it's unpredictable, especially in December. But um, I can't, I just can't do it. I can't. And I did open my shop for December, but I turned off all the ads. And that for me brings my sales completely down. I have had for December four orders. Four. Through Etsy, not like locally or whatever. Locally, I do get orders very often. And I'm just, I didn't want to brag, but <laughs> I am pretty well known in between like our circle and like around the area. So I do get um, quite the orders with like schools and uh, companies like work, people tell other people at work and then they, uh, they bring me stuff and you know, just like that. Um, but uh, so it's gonna freeze again this weekend. Today is December the twentieth, Tuesday, and they said by Thursday it's gonna start to freeze. So um, Christmas is gonna be super cold. They're saying it's gonna freeze like last time that we had the Arctic blast, and. Uh, it's giving me major anxiety. Like I'm not, I just, uh, just the thought of like not, like if something happens, you know, um, and uh, I just, uh, I, don't, I didn't even want to talk about it because I, I get very scared and I don't want to be scared. I'm puffing, I'm fluffing the tutu just in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, it's coming. There's nothing we can do about it, but prepare. I've started bringing my plants inside. I have a few plants outside. I started bringing them inside and I want to protect some of the ones that are planted and cover them somehow, some way, uh, that last year, what was it? 2021, February, 2021. Uh, that's when the, was it 2021? 2020. 2020. I don't remember uh but yeah my plants come all oh, everything died everything died and then when spring came around one of my plants started to sprout back up and it got big again it's as tall as the fence and it's so beautiful and i don't want it to die so i'm trying to find a way to somehow protect it i think i'm gonna build it like a little like very obviously not well made house just to protect it from like the water and prevent it from freezing like the it gets wet and then it'll freeze you know <sighs> and what else um yeah that's pretty much it i've been doing pretty much nothing but um christmas shopping wrapping presents the plan is that we were supposed to go to my mother-in-law's house and then we we're gonna go to my nephew's house but i don't know because if it gets dangerous to drive around 
I don't, I don't think we're gonna go anywhere. Uh, we bought my truck brand new tires, especially because winter was coming and you know, it's, I needed new tires. But um, I don't know, it's still pretty, pretty scary. Oh, it looks not fixed. So, um, yeah, uh, all right, so here, I have to lay my hair down, I look like a hot mess, I got a new phone, I'm recording from my phone, um, the sound kept fluctuating with the other camera, so I'm using my phone, and bro like i look super i know i have a lot of freckles but like they are so noticeable in this camera like i never noticed them that much like in the mirror or in videos and now they're like pfft. whatever um so i finished the tutorial put the bow i have to make a hair bow um, and then I have to go pick up Alexis in a little bit. She's at uh, school's out already, but she still goes to school for practice for soccer. And I have a Letterman's jacket actually that I have to embroider. Um, they brought me, they got the patches from the school. They paid for the patches. So they just want me to add the patches. And then I do have to embroider on the jacket, just the name. I don't know if I record that. It's just the name, nothing nothing special or you know crazy i don't know though how i'm gonna attach the patches because they're not iron-ons and the way my daughter's letterman jacket is it has like a zigzag stitch attaching the patches she didn't want me to do the patches so whatever <laughs> um so i'm just gonna kind of copy what the school did on her letterman's jacket on this new letterman's jacket the only problem is that my juki doesn't do zigzag stitches and i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna go about it um but we'll see i'll show you also um i wanted i wanted i want i want to i wanted to i want to i want to uh answer a few questions i got on some of my videos not too long ago um Someone asked me how I was, how do I uh, put myself out there or promote my stuff um, when I get orders local locally? And honestly, only thing that I have is Facebook and Instagram and I don't pay for any type of ad advertisement on there. This is what I did on Instagram. I don't know about um, on Facebook. I know a lot of people do like giveaways and stuff like that and I wanted to do a giveaway, but the rules has, have changed so much when you do giveaways that I didn't even know. And when I was about to make a giveaway on, on Facebook so it could bring more traffic to my page and this was when I first got um, Etsy. Now it's like, okay, I get so many orders on Etsy. I don't need Facebook or Instagram but um this was when i was first starting out and i didn't have the orders that i get now with just doing etsy and etsy ads but um i when you do a giveaway on facebook they have like rules now you can't ask people it can't be a rule for people you can't be like oh you know you're gonna if you want to enter the contest or whatever the giveaway you have to follow me or or like my page or, or or stuff like that like you can't do that anymore i don't know why um but i was reading on it and eventually imagine like people are doing it and following your page and whatever and then they take it down and then people are gonna be pissed so i did not do the giveaway because of that and i don't know if it's true or not but i was reading on it and i didn't want to take the chance of people doing all the rules and waiting for me to pick a winner and then facebook freaking takes it down so that's why i did not do that option but on instagram what i did and it actually worked out pretty good nobody told me about it i just kind of thought about it so on Instagram, I follow a lot of pages that are similar to mine, right? Like like my business. 
so it could be anything like for example i do sewing and embroidery and all that stuff right and mainly what i do is birthdays right so other pages that would be similar to my business would be for example cake business like somebody does cakes for their business um so we should most likely have kind of like the same following right because a person that buys an outfit for a birthday would need a cake for their birthday right so i follow those pages like people that make cakes people that make balloon garlands people that make um anything birthday decoration whatever okay what else do i do i do sweatshirts sweatshirts hoodies and all that stuff so people that like for example anime stuff and like you know that the people are always looking for stuff that you know um matches them or what they like or whatever so like on the birthday pages and stuff like that what i would do is i would go on their followings so if a per person's uh instagram page the cake uh instagram page has let's say i don't know five hundred thousand followers not people that the cake the, the page is following but the followers i will click on that and then i will follow all of them like and instagram only lets you follow so many people i found out because i was doing it they only let you follow so many people per day so i saw i just went follow 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 like started following all these people that were following the the cake page and obviously they're gonna get a notification Kachi's Customs requested to follow you or they follow you now and they're gonna be like Kachi's Customs and like and they're gonna see the picture of like the birthday and the and, 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 and the outfits and stuff and they're gonna be like oh you know well then I'm gonna follow them because maybe if they're looking at cakes or they're gonna have an event or whatever maybe they would want my services you know so and that's how little by little Instagram started growing it's not crazy like I don't have hundreds of thousands of followers i have probably have like two thousand i don't know I, I i don't check but it brought a lot of business though it brought a lot of business to to me from instagram because um people you know you just you just get it's more eyes that are seeing your page so that if you're trying to grow your instagram um go to similar pages or you know um and follow famous people not famous people um but like other pages that follow their pages that may be interested in buying your type of product i just started following everybody you know people that make piñatas and you know it's a, it's a birthday thing if you're making birthday outfits and you know or you're making birthday cakes and somebody's buying piñatas maybe the people that follow those piñata pages will want to follow your page so you follow them and then they will hopefully return the favor it nine out nine nine out of ten it works <laughs> um and it just brings more traffic to your page and to everything else it's just a free tip you know that you can apply to your page and hopefully it brings you more business you know it doesn't cost anything to go follow somebody so just get your stuff out there so here's the little men's jackets. Um, this is my daughter's. It says Lopez, Lexi's, and then she has her soccer ball. It says forward, she plays forward, and a volleyball, her tw class of 2025, breast cancer awareness, and then the K, and then um, her name. So I'm gonna copy what they did on this one. This one, she got it from the school. The school did the whole thing. Um, they pretty much do the embroidery before they do the jacket, which is cool. And then this is the litter mist jacket that I have to do. They already have the patches. They purchased the pack the packages, the patches through the school. So all I have to do is attach them. Although this is a stabilizer, there's no heating bond or anything like that. So it has to be stitched in. Um so i wanted to use my daughters as a reference to see like how high and low i will put the name and then all the other patches all the other patches that go on the sleeves are gonna have to go in by hand because it's leather like and it's the arm i cannot put it in the 
sewing machine. The only thing that I will be embroidering on the jacket is the name, which will go over here. But you're going to have to see the, you know, stitching on this side. So, yeah. That is so cute. Look at that. And this is the the firm felt that I use on my patches. It feels exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. And I'm pretty sure these were cut with laser or something. But it's crazy. So she plays the violin as well. She's a swimmer. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Um, hopefully it looks as good as this one. Alright, so I did the arms. I had to do them by hand. And I kind of did like an invisible stitch where you go behind the patch. I still have to do this one. This is the last one I have to do. You go behind the patch and like with a needle you grab it. But you don't show it through the front. And then you start stitching it on the jacket. It was very time consuming but they're on there they're not going anywhere and then so here's the back and i tried to do like a bean stitch type of thing um going around the whole thing i had my daughter put it on to see if it looked good it does so there is the arms i just have this one and the eagle left and then i'm done um yeah and then oh no i still have to embroider out the name which pretty simple just I'm just gonna put that on the embroidery machine um and yeah that's it um that's it for this video you know super quick short nothing special um i am printing out a uh a print i have to do some princess shirt i showed you guys this before where i mix it with embroidery so it's gonna be the princesses and then i'm gonna do embroidery on the shirt as well i have a video on that already if you want to check it out um i love my white toner printer it's so fast and easy these shirts you can pop them out so quick um check it out if you are on the market for a white toner printer i have links in the description i'm waiting for it to print it's processing right now i am using the wireless um the wi-fi you can connect it to wi-fi or you can connect it directly to the the uh computer which it'll print it out way faster because it's you know connected but i don't have any more um usb ports and i have to be disconnecting and connecting things so i just have it on the wi-fi it's fine and that's it um i'll see you guys on the next video one more thing guys before i go i do i know people ask me about the ribbon all the time i only have five left of the cow print these are 35 dollars. if you want if you're interested message me on instagram and then i have the satin ribbon these are double faced 100 yards I had them for 22 I am dropping them for 20 <clears throat> just for a short period of time while I order some more. And then these are also 100 yards gross grain. So these are 35 and then these are 20 plus shipping. If you order like $200 or more, I'll do for shipping. Um, but, and then, oh yeah, and then the glitter, the glitter, look how pretty. I only have three left of those. And those I do have for $42. <clears throat> they are more expensive to get they are also a hundred yards and they are seven eighths seven eighths try to show you a hundred yards so i only have three of those left and if nobody uh claims them by today i am keeping them because i use it a lot but i did want people to try them out so see if they like it <clears throat> this is i have a mess this is my stuff but um i saved four for myself again if nobody takes them then i'm just gonna keep them because i know i'm gonna use them um so yeah let me know if you need any specific color i know everything's all mixed up in here but i had this is the really light yellow gold white turquoise i have some green mauve that's the pale pink um royal pink and then I think I still have some good. I still have some more over here. The only color that I don't have right now is lavender. So don't ask me for lavender. Yeah. 
that's pretty much it